All right, so uh, it's been a year. <laughs> Boy, has it been a year. And if you've been watching me since then, then you might recall a video that I filmed where I tried on all of my pre-quarantine jeans. So I tried on all the jeans that I bought prior to Miss Rona's 2020 entrance. And I could go into a spiral talking about how I can't believe it's been a year, but how it also feels like 10 years and how it's also like super devastating, but also like we're sort of nearing the light at the end of the tunnel. We're not gonna talk about that today. What we are gonna talk about is your body changing during this time. We are surviving yet another global trauma. And I want to make the message of this video loud and clear, and that is that it is your only job during a global pandemic to survive, to keep yourself safe, to keep yourself healthy, to do what you have to do to protect yourself and others and just simply survive. So if you happen to gain weight during a pandemic and that is the worst thing that happens to you, I think you're doing all right. We put so much emphasis on re-emerging with this like post quarantine body and it's the same bullshit that we hear every single year when it comes to summer bodies, spring break bodies. And I just wanna tell you that right here and now, whatever body you are currently residing in is worthy, is valid, and is beautiful. So what I'm going to do today is try on all of these jeans, like I mentioned, and they're all pretty much the same jeans that I tried on before. If you want to see that video, I'll link it down below. Some of those jeans have since moved on and gone to other homes. I've listed them on Poshmark, etc. But I do still have probably like five or six pairs of jeans and one pair of shorts that I want to try on because these were kind of like all my staples, my go-tos before quarantine. So we'll see like how they fit now a year later. Keep in mind that this is supposed to be lighthearted, it's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be funny, and that's the mood, that's the vibe that I'm keeping throughout this entire video, and I just wanna show you that it's no big deal if you gain weight or if you don't. So with that being said, we are going to perhaps invoke a little bit of trauma on myself. I'm kidding, I wouldn't do this if I wasn't able to, but also maybe a little bit. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, it's gonna be a good time, so let's try on all of my pre-quarantine jeans and see how this goes. All right, so first up today, we're gonna start easy. We're gonna start simple, you know? So I am going to begin with a pair of jeans that I bought probably, I wanna say like August, July or August of 2019, and these are not available anymore. They are a paper bag waist wild fable pair of like somewhat mom jeans, I guess you could say. And I used to call these jeans the Sierra Effect jeans because my good friend Sierra Schulte here on YouTube posted about these jeans and they like flew off the shelves and then suddenly they were sold out and never available again. So I actually, when I first moved to LA, was at a Target and found these and was super excited, so I snagged these and I've never really worn them since because they haven't really always fit me right. They are in a size 14, which I'm more of a 16 now, but I do remember these being a loose fit, so maybe they'll be more of a tight fit now. I don't know, we'll see. Here we go. So far feels great. Wild Fable honestly never lets me down. Ooh, oh, a little, little tighter than I remember. <laughs> these used to fit a lot differently. Honestly, these aren't bad. I was genuinely curious as to how these were gonna fit going into this because I was like, they used to be really loose and like the waist is still so loose. I'm just so confused by the paper bag thing. I think they're just supposed to be like that. Are paper bag jeans supposed to be that you can just like slip them on and off? Because I, I that has to be why the elastic is like this. I don't know, confusing. But they do fit quite a bit tighter in the legs. Not gonna lie, they used to kind of be more of like, I think they're supposed to be more of like a baggy type of vibe. They are definitely more of a skinny jeans type of vibe now, but I am okay with that. I actually really kind of like the way these look. I'm not as into the paper bag thing anymore as I used to be, but they're really not bad. One other thing that I have noticed too that is very interesting is that they actually fit a lot tighter in the calf than they used to. It's really weird. Like I think just over the course of time and just me gaining weight, my body changing, etc., getting older, I'm in my 30s now, my calves have gotten so much bigger. And you know, I did a video probably three, four months ago where I tried a bunch of wide calf boots and like literally Basically none of them fit my calves. So it's just interesting to see how things change. I don't remember having tightness in the calf at all when I first bought these jeans. So very, very interesting. Take a shot every time I say interesting in this video. I need to find a new word. So I started with these because I felt like this was a good, this was a soft place to land. This was a soft place to start from. I knew it was gonna be easy. Wild Fable really never lets me down and uh, these are a great pair of jeans. Nothing bad to say about them. They still fit even though they have sat in my closet. I mean, I, I literally think the last time I wore these was maybe December of 2019. So don't know if I'm gonna continue to hang on to these post pandemic, but this is the way they fit now. 
So here you go. Next up, we have a tried and true favorite. Like these are the jeans. These are the jeans that I have talked about probably more than any other jeans on my channel. They're some of my favorite jeans I've ever worn. They're not stretchy, ironically. So it's weird because typically I'm all for a stretchy jean. I like to be comfortable. I don't like to have, you know, belly prison. But for some reason, these have just been like my go-to. So these are an American Eagle mom jean. Super, super distressed mom jean. This huge hole. I mean, it used to to sort of like connect back in the day, but just throughout the course of wearing, I used to wear these to like theme parks and just all over the place. <laughs> Remember going places? Sorry, not gonna talk about that in this video, but um, huge holes in the front. So it's made for like a much looser pair of jeans. So when I first bought these, they were more of like a boyfriend jean. I was able to wear them all day long, feel super comfortable. Like I said, I used to go to like Universal Studios and sit there all day and like get on and off rides and be completely fine in these. But the last time I wore these, which I think was in my video with my friend Sierra, where we styled the same clothing pieces into different outfits, I wore these jeans and they were a little more snug than I recall. So let's see how it goes. All right, so far the leg still feels good. It's definitely like more of a loose wide leg fit. So far everything's still the same. Oh, oh. Oh, this actually, you know, okay. This isn't bad. This is a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I swear to God, these are just the best jeans. Like just the looser ankle, like they're just so 90s and so cute. And it's weird because like my body has definitely changed, but it's it feels like these jeans have just like adapted along with me. Maybe I've kind of been breaking them in as I go. I will say that when I zip up the zipper, it's a lot tighter than it used to be. So it is like a bit tighter in the belly area and that's definitely where I've probably gained the most weight recently so that makes sense. And it's it's not the same exact fit as it used to be. There's a little bit of spillage happening here, totally fine. Still a tiny bit of a gap in the back that's just the way jeans fit on me most of the time. I think it's because I have a bigger belly and no butt. It happens. Grandma butt club unite, but it's it's honestly really surprising me the way these fit. Like I would actually completely go outside into the world right now and wear this outfit. Throw on some like cute white sneakers, good to go. I really actually enjoy this. I was actually probably the most, not anxious, but just sort of apprehensive about this pair because I haven't really worn them recently and I just wasn't exactly sure how this was gonna go, but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. They have really adapted. Cause I mean, really I've gone up pretty much a full size in quarantine. So it's good to know that my jeans are still able to kind of like grow and adapt with me instead of having to get rid of all of my jeans and buy new ones. So. I'm happy about it. Even if they didn't fit me anymore, it'd be no big deal because then it would make someone else have the opportunity to wear these and feel comfortable and confident and all that stuff. But she lives to see another day. Next up, while we're on the American Eagle train, let's keep this thing going. This is another pair. I'm pretty sure I ordered these pair at the exact same time. So right around, I would say fall 2019-ish, maybe, maybe summer 2019. So I've had these for going on two years now. And these are the same size, a US size 16. I'm not sure if I mentioned that in the last one, but both of these American Eagle ones are size 16. I had to size up in them because they are more of a rigid denim. I haven't worn these. I would say probably the last time I wore these jeans was, my guess is when I went thrifting in a bunch of different like vintage shops with my friend Macy Lenny in, that would have been like October 2019. So it's been quite a while besides when I tried these on for the last video that these have even been on my body. I mean, the first ones went really well, so I'm hoping these will too. But honestly, sizing can range and vary from brand to brand, even just like within the brand itself. So we'll see. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I feel nervous. Oh, oh. Um, it's always a roller coaster of emotions, isn't it? It just always is. Wow. Okay, so uh, a little bit tighter than I remember. <laughs> a little bit more of a snug fit than I recall. But truly, like, I'm not mad at this at all. Similar to the last pair, there is like a little bit of tightness here in the stomach, but honestly, that's kind of the way it goes with mom jeans. I feel like if I were to size up in these jeans, like if I was to buy this exact same pair of jeans, but in a size 18, they'd probably end up being too big because if I wore them around for like 10 minutes, they'd start like sagging off my butt. So these are, I think, still the right size. I mean, I guess I haven't sat down in them. I could try. Do I really want to do that? <laughs> put myself through that, I don't know. We'll just try, just just a brief, oh yeah. Okay, Um, it feels kind of just like a mom jean. This angle though, like 
What is this? If I were driving, I would definitely be unbuttoning these while I was driving. But that's just kind of the thing about mom jeans. I do feel like I want to do a video where I try out a bunch of different stretchy mom jeans because these, like I said, are just stomach belly, leg, and butt prisons, if you will. Um, trying, to, like if someone was like, hey Carrie, here's this pair of shoes on the ground right now, try it on, I'd be like, no thank you. I don't feel like breaking that much of a sweat today. So yeah, I mean, these still fit, which is great. I genuinely wouldn't trade them in for another size, like they work, but I do want to try and hold on to these, love these, wear these, while also incorporating more stretchy jeans into my wardrobe because it's just much more comfortable. After a year of wearing leggings, do you think that I'd be able to go back to rigid mom jeans? No. Like, are we just leaving jeans in 2020 in general? I don't know. I've been doing a lot of jeans videos lately, so let me know if we're on the same page here. So I'm actually pretty happy with how this is turning out so far. So far it's not bad, but the next pair I am a little unsure about. A little uneasy, if you will. This pair of jeans is like infamous on my channel and I've talked about them for, God, going on like a year and a half now, maybe longer. I bought these probably uh, at the beginning of 2020, like January 2020, maybe at the end of 2019, and they're a pair of good American jeans. I've tried them on in so many videos on my channel, but I feel like they just fit into so many different videos. Comparing size 16 jeans, measuring my highest rise jeans, you know, things like that, um, that I feel like if I didn't keep these and continue to use them as a point of reference in my videos, then we wouldn't know. We wouldn't have anything to compare it to. So. These these good American jeans are stretchy. They're a pair of skinny jeans. When I first saw these jeans, I fell in love with them. I ordered them on Poshmark. I washed them one time and then they shrunk like six sizes. I don't know, we'll see. Every time I try on these jeans, it just looks like I'm wearing a pair of painted on jeans. Like, like I'm just wearing paint on my legs. They're so tight, so we'll see. Did these really fit before quarantine? No, not that much, honestly, but this should be fun, okay? Honestly, like just putting on a really thick, tight pair of leggings. The one thing I won't miss is while I sit here with my pants down at my knees. With this whole Gen Z thing of like canceling skinny jeans, we won't have to do this anymore. This whole like, and you know what I'm talking about. Oh my God, this is not fun. I'm not enjoying this. Okay, I'm out of breath. This whole like acrobatic, you know, cardio workout to just get on a pair of jeans because they're so skinny and so tight. Like, I guess if I were to go out right now and wear some shoes, it would look like a cute outfit. But I mean, the way that my stomach feels in these, first of all, and just the like, you can tell when a pair of skinny jeans is just too tight. Like, it's just, it's not a look. I mean, I just have to let them go, don't I? I mean, I just really do. Like, they're fine, but you know, like it's just, it's just not a look for me. I really wanna take these off. So these are a fail. Notice how I'm not having a meltdown. I'm not freaking out. It's literally just clothes. It's just fabric. So it just means that someone else is gonna to get to enjoy these. I'll make a little bit of money back and then I can put that towards a pair of jeans that I like, that fit me well, and that make me feel more comfortable and more confident. So it works out. Next up, we have a pair of Madewell jeans. And these are, I believe, a discontinued stretchy mom jean. What are these even called? I think they're literally just called the mom jean. Yes, they're called the mom jean. I've had these in a couple of different sizes. This size is a 32, which is really interesting because that translates to a 14. So I ordered these when I was a size 14, but I wore these the other day and they still fit. They just fit differently. So it wasn't as much of like a loose, slightly baggy mom jean fit. It was more of like a tight mom jean fit, but I thought it'd be interesting to try these on for the video because I did notice when I put those on the other day, I was like, these fit differently. So, okay, let's see my live reaction here. They still honestly fit great. I love Madewell. The only difference is just that they're a bit tighter in the waist, which most everything is right now. But these are one of my favorite pairs of jeans. Like, look at these. Honestly, I will say, when I first bought these, I even kind of noticed that they were slightly big. Like, they were just a little bit oversized down here. And even though they were stretchy, I just noticed that after like a couple hours, the waist was a lot more loose. So I do kind of actually prefer the way they fit now. I'm not 
too unhappy with it, I will say. I'm just sitting here trying to figure out when I got these. I wanna say it was like towards the end of 2018. Regardless, had them for a couple years now and they've been with me through the seasons, through multiple states that I've lived in, through different body changes and sizes, and I'm pretty happy with it. Like so far, most of these have adapted with me. That's obviously not the case for everybody and it's not a big deal if you have to get rid of clothes or give clothes away to someone else if you do gain weight. Love these. Honestly, couldn't be happier. And last but not least, for a little wild card, I thought I would throw in this pair of thrifted jeans that I turned into shorts. If you remember, probably, I don't know, if you followed me back in like spring, summer 2019, I went to the thrift store, I found a pair of men's jeans and I cut them into shorts. These are actually from Gap originally. These are a men's Gap pair of jeans. They're in a size 38. So I think in men's sizing that translates to maybe like a size 14 or 16, I'm not sure. These were a little bit tight. Uh, last summer, so it'll be interesting because I think the last time I wore these was, I don't know, probably last fall at the latest, so I don't know. We'll see. They have a nice high rise. They're my favorite shorts I've ever, ever, ever had. It would be very hard to replace them, so let's see how it goes. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, first thing, my first thought is these are cute as hell, but also I do think that the last time I wore these, I didn't wash them. I don't usually wash my jeans every single time I wear them unless it's like I wear them out somewhere where I feel like they're dirty. But if I'm just like, if I wear them out to like run a couple errands, I won't wash them immediately. I'll wear them like a couple times. So I do think that these potentially haven't been washed. If these were fresh out of the dryer, we'd be having a different conversation right now. But honestly, I don't know what's happening. I like being able to wear these shorts long, but I also love the capability or just like the kind of versatility of it, you could say. Like it's just, you can roll them up. Like how cute is this? Thrifting is honestly the best if you're able to find things like this and adapt them to your style, your body type, whatever. So I am honestly pleased to know that these shorts and myself will have another summer together. I'm really pleased with the way this has turned out. And like I said before, if your situation doesn't turn out the same, it's no big deal. I'm happy, I'm neutral with my body where I'm at right here and now. And this was a fun experiment. Let me know if you liked it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you wanna be notified every time I post a new video. My whole message, like I said at the beginning of this video, is just that I want to show you that it's no big deal. I just, I'm trying to reach a place in my body neutrality slash body confidence journey where losing and gaining weight is no big deal. I'm just happy with my here and now body and that's where I'm at. I, I'm very just neutral about it. So hopefully that message got across. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next one.